How's it going guys? It's Ryan here and welcome to this video. Uh, so it's going to be a look at the Ripper Claws. These are tier 85 weapons released with the Ripper Demons, the high level mobs. Uh, it's taken me a while to make this video, partially because these claws are very hard to purchase. The main hand cost me 23.5 mil and the off hand cost me 21 mil and that was by overnight. Uh, so there really aren't very, very many of these in circulation. Uh, now this is what they look like. They look really cool. I gotta say they look great. Um, definitely something that you could wear as part of Fashionscape. They look incredible. Uh, so first off, the Ripper Claws have an attack speed of fastest, so they're most comparable uh, to the Drygore Maces. Uh, so as a comparison, uh, the Ripper Claws have 81 damage and 2178 accuracy, whereas the Drygore Mace has 86 damage and 2458 accuracy. So a little more accuracy and then 5 more damage. Uh, and then the offhand's the same, 3 more damage. Uh, and that's the comparison there. Uh, now, these are the Tetsu Katana and the Tetsu Wakazashi, which are uh, also tier 85, so these would have the same damage per second as the Ripper Claws. Now, the reason the Ripper Claws are going to be better than these Tetsu Weaponry, uh, that are the same tier, the same accuracy, the same damage once adjusted for attack speed, is the special effect. Uh, so as I head to Lumbridge, uh, let's talk about the special effect. Special effect of the Ripper Claws, it's sort of similar to a Darok set, but it's the reverse. So how the Ripper Claws work is they deal more damage the closer your opponent's life points are to zero, uh, below 50%. So once their HP hits 50%, you'll start doing more damage, and as they get closer and closer to being dead, you will hit considerably more. Uh, so that's how the special effect works, that's how it's written, there's no formula, there's no equation. Uh, so I'm gonna test it out, and that is why I'm gonna be PKing with these things, because I figure I've got a PK in them. That That's that's kind of what they're made for. Uh, they'll be decent for PVMing, they'll be better than other tier 85s, they'll probably be a little worse than Drygors, because you don't have the accuracy bonus. Uh, but absolutely, they're gonna be fun to PK with. So for starters, you're not gonna see any massive hits right here, uh, mostly because these weapons have a very fast attack speed, uh, but the hits shouldn't be bad at all, uh, and I just wanted to attack with them and just show you guys how it works. I'm Supreme Overloaded right now, and I'm using the Turmoil Curse, uh, just to see some normal random hits with it, see around where it maxes out. It should max out around a 300 uh, or so for the attack speed, which is actually quite good. You've got some pretty decent DPS, especially uh, on Legacy, and then after this, I'm gonna go kill the Queen Black Dragon, and then we're gonna finish off with some PKing, which I'm really, really excited for. So there we go, the maximum hit is, or the critical hit is 299, so like I guessed, it's around 300. Probably hit around 320, 330, uh, with the upper echelon of that maximum critical hit. Uh, but those are the Ripper Claws, and that's the damage they do. Alright, so I changed my mind. We're not gonna go to QBD, we're actually gonna go to the King Black Dragon. Uh, the reason being is the Queen Black Dragon, with the way her hit points work, you don't actually kill her, uh, so you won't be able to spe see the special effect uh, taken into account. Uh, so I figure that's kind of useless. We want to show off and showcase how this weapon works. Uh, so the best way to do that is going to be a monster where you will be able to see different hits. Uh, so I'm going to start off on Legacy Mode and then I will move on to EOC as well a little later on. Uh, just to give you guys a view, a showcase of both. On Legacy, it's going to be easier to see how well the special effect works though. Uh, for sure. So you know that the maximum is around 300. It should be actually a little less than that because of the defense level of the King Black Dragon. And then we're just going to see uh, what happens uh, as the King Black Dragon's HP gets lower and see how effective this actually is, how good the special effect actually is and how well it works. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut to the second half of a couple kills. Uh, well, we're already in the second half of this one, so I'm just going to leave this one on. Uh, and we will just see where we start to max out if the hits are significantly larger or just a little bit larger. Uh, and yeah, as you can see, I mean, the hits are quite, quite decent. I'm seeing some fairly big hits, but nothing like 400s, 500s at this point. Uh, so I don't know how good this special effect is going to be. They don't actually say how good it is. They just say that it's good. It's noticeable. Uh, so let's cut into some more kills. Here we go, 321. Uh, so that is our new max hit with a lower HP percentage-wise on the KBD. So as you can see, the effect does work. All right, this is going to be finishing off the last legacy kill uh, where we've just been looking at the hits. And there is a noticeable difference, although it looks like it is not the biggest difference. Uh, and I think for sure using a Drygor and an offhand Drygor would be better. All right, guys, so I wanted to do an EOC kill as well. Just, you know, fair is fair. Uh, we'll see how this looks. Uh, but in terms of final verdict, I'm definitely going to call it here. Uh, if you have level 90 attack, uh, you're better off using a Drygor. It's actually cheaper in price uh, getting a main hand and offhand Drygor set currently. It's cheaper than these. And with the accuracy bonus, even if the DPS is sort of similar, the accuracy is definitely what's going to push the Drygors over the top. Uh, the Drygors are going to be your better bet. That being said, these are definitely the best damage per second level 85 weapons in the game. If you're stuck with, an, if you're stuck with level 85 attack, you don't have 90 attack yet, 
Uh, these are definitely going to be better than something like the katanas. They're going to be the best tier 85 weapons. And they're also buyable, which is really nice. You don't need to go dungeoneering, get your chaotix or anything like that. Uh, if you've got the money, you can kind of skip that whole process and you can get these. Uh, now, the one thing that these could be very good for is player killing. So let's head to the wilderness and let's go PKing. Uh-oh, I've been spotted. Uh-oh, I've been spotted! Good luck to this guy. I have no idea what I'm doing, uh, but here we go. We're gonna try out these claws, these Ripper Demon claws, and see how they do. See if I can do some work on this guy. All right, 282. See, I'm hitting higher as his HP gets lower, I think. Right here. Good fight! I killed a person! Ripper claws to AGS. It worked. All right, shout out to all these guys. That's pretty funny. Get these things back on. Get these bad boys back on. Good fight. Well, we got the kill. So, I'd say these things are definitely not bad. I, I'm not expecting to kill anyone with the actual claws. They're more used as a combo weapon. Offhand, main hand, offhand, dead. Yep, these things are good. These things combo very well. Uh, good fight to that guy. Oh, wow, this person had a lot of things. Ho. Oh. All right, good luck to this person. Uh, I'm currently risking an AGS, so gotta be a little careful, and I was not prevenged. I am a professional. Wow, I'm comboing hard. Look at this combo. Ah, oh, and it failed. Combo broken. That was a great combo though. Until it failed me. Uh, but yeah, the combos with this thing, pretty ridiculous, honestly. Like the hits are very consistent. They're very high. Cannot complain, 542, but I don't have a spec. See, that's the problem. <laughs> Almost have spec though. Uh oh, leg. Oh, 526! Still don't have spec, though. And you're gone. Uh, so yeah, we're fighting Dr. Doctor right now. Look at these hits, man. They're ridiculous. You're dead. Wow. Okay, this guy's a good eater, but he should have been dead. 589. I'm hitting pretty well. I gotta say, oh, I just threw up a venge. Yeah, this person should be dead right here, because he didn't see me venge, because he was too busy eating. And... You are about to be dead. Goodbye. This is going well. This is going this is this is going very well so far. Alright, so this is gonna be the last fight of the testing video, assuming it results in a kill. Uh, just because I've been PKing for a while and it's time to sell these things back. Uh, but overall, as a final verdict on the video, uh, if you've got 90 attack, you're better off using Drygors. For PKing, these are quite oh Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> that was terrifying. He had a scythe? I didn't expect the scythe <laughs> at all, uh, but we got the Venge combo in. Uh, but anyway guys, that's going to be about it for this video. Like I was saying, for PVMing, you're definitely going to be better off using just Drygores. Uh, there aren't really too many spots where they're advantageous um, for PVM situation, unless of course you don't have level 90 attack for the Drygores. They're more expensive than a Drygore set, so there's really no point doing anything different. Uh, in terms of PvPing, they were very good. I was PKing for like an hour and a bit, and yeah, I had way more kills than deaths, and it was a lot of fun. It combos really, really well. I'm sure I showed some clips of just it comboing really hard. It tears through people. So yeah, the overall verdict, if the crossbow got a 9 out of 10, this thing gets probably like a 6.5 out of 10, just because the price is so expensive that there's no reason not to just choose the Drygors over, over these claws. That being said, they look incredible, and they are very good, very intimidating, very powerful in a PvP situation. So anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this comparison video. Have a good one, and peace out.